This is the new Trek Madone. It is the eighth generation of the company's aero bike. And with this model, the company says it is just as fast as the previous generation. That's right, not faster, but just as fast. So why release a new bike, a whole new frame to be just as fast? Back in 2021, when designers and engineers at Trek were working on the company's new lightweight bike or the new iteration of the company's lightweight bike, that's the Amonda, they noticed the aerodynamics of that frame were approaching that of the Madone. So they made a change. They decided to pursue one bike, one bike that was both light and aerodynamic. This medium large frame, and it is the Madone SLR, so that is the top level frame, but this size medium large frame is only five grams heavier than the Amonda of the similar size. Altogether, frame, fork, the wheels, the new SRAM Red Group, and even these new SLR bottles and cages, that all comes together at 7.62 kilograms. Now that's with empty bottles, I might add, and I wanna talk more about those bottles and cages a little later. So, how did Trek keep this bike fast while still taking weight away from it? One of the things is a new carbon fiber formula that's called Series 900 OCLV. This is 20% stronger than the previous uh, top end carbon fiber mix, and that was, of course, the Series 800. So, with that carbon fiber, Trek was able to use it judiciously throughout the frame to save weight. Now, let's look at the tube shapes themselves. If you recall from previous iterations of the Madone, they featured the truncated airfoil shape or the camtail shape, and that would be predominantly actually on the down tube. Now, we don't see that here. The down tube here on this new Madone is actually kind of blunt. That's not to say there aren't more aero shapes throughout here at the seat mast and at the top of the seat tube and even at the fork. Those definitely look like they're gonna slice some wind. And Trek took a, a new approach to looking at the whole system of the bike and how air flows around it. And it noticed that in some parts, yes, aero is very important and therefore those aerodynamic shapes that we're used to seeing should be there front and center. But there are parts of the bike where the air is moving a little more slowly and the shapes can then be modified for that. I'm thinking of the bottom of the down tube where air is already coming off the fork and the front wheel. So at the bottom of the down tube, it can afford to be a bit more blunt there. That way, engineers can look more at structural concerns and frankly, shaving weight. Now let's go back to those RSL Aero bottles and the cages that hold them. These bottles were designed specifically to work with this whole system, with the frame system. And you'll notice that where they sit on their respective tubes, they actually help the air to move around smoothly. What these bottles won't do is stand up straight on your kitchen counter. However, the cages will work with traditional cylindrical water bottles. The IsoFlow returns on this edition of the Madone. The IsoFlow, you'll remember, is the gap just below the seat mast at the top of the seat stays. And it's there to provide some more flex in that seat mast, which allows for more rider comfort. And this iteration of the IsoFlow is a bit smaller than the previous one, and it has more precise shaping for aerodynamics. Now, let me tell you about some of the changes with sizing that come with the new Madone. Now, Trek traditionally has used nominal seat tube lengths to describe size, so like size 54, size 56, that kind of thing. With the Madone, they've now switched to what some have jokingly called t-shirt sizing. We have extra small all the way to extra large. This is a medium large frame. Now, that's a bit of a departure for me. Traditionally, I've always gone for size 54s, so that would have been a medium in this new sizing. 
Usually with those 54s, I would be really at close to the max of the seat post length, uh, even the longer seat post lengths, to get my preferred saddle height. So I thought I wouldn't chance it with this new system. I would go with the medium large. The seat post and the saddle are perfect. Now, in terms of reach in the drops, no problem. It's very comfortable. But I was in for a surprise when I went for the hoods. I actually had to stretch a bit. Now, this isn't totally due to the, uh, the geometry of the bike and the handlebars. It's actually the new SRAM Red. If you check out the hoods, they are quite long. So they do get me stretched out a tiny bit more than usual. The good thing is on long rides, I was perfectly comfortable. It took a bit of getting used to, but it's a very good setup. Probably the right setup you want for a bike as arrow as this and it allows you to get low and arrow yourself. The integrated bar and stem here at the front of the bike uh, is very similar to the previous generation. However, across the top, that, um, that tube, if you will, is a bit thicker. Its job is actually to condition the air before it hits the rider's leg, kind of slowing the air down as it comes across. So it is a bit thicker. However, the um, hook to hook measurements and the um, hood to hood measurements are the same as the previous generation. If you remember, there's a three centimeter difference. So at the top, your hands are a bit closer together and down in the drops, they're just a bit farther apart to help with control. So you've got more control down low and more arrow up top. You'll notice the paint, eh? It's, uh, it's pretty stellar. In fact, it's called Icon Interstellar. Now, this is an ultra premium paint that comes from Trek's Project One customization offering. It adds $4,500 to the base model of this Trek Madone SLR. What's the base price, you wanna know? The base is $18,150. So how does the bike feel? It rides really, really great. With the low weight and the stiffness in the frame, it has all the snap and liveliness I need on the climbs. The Bontrager Aeolus RSL 51 wheels are smooth rolling and behave really well in the crosswinds. On the flats, I feel like every watt I put out is being channeled into speed. The World Tour pros have already won some pretty big stages on this bike. For us regular riders, whether you're a climber, a ruler, or a sprinter, but for all of us, this Trek Madone SLR can truly elevate our rides.